Hello, my name is Michael McCurry, and I'm going to be talking about this week's uh, topics, things, tasks, and videos, and material, and, and just like that, just like usual. Um, so, what we learned this week? Uh, we learned all about loops. Uh, that was pretty much the only thing we learned this week. Um, with loops, it's we learned about the three big, t big loops. We learned about uh, the while loop, the do while loop, and the for loop. Um... The while loop, do while loop, and for loop all do the same thing. Um, but the the major differences between the three, I would say, are like, um, so your while loop is kind of, is, you know, your standard, you you set the, uh, you initialize the variables outside of it, or, and you can initialize them inside, but usually you initialize them outside, and you can, you know, you set your parameters, you know, and you just kind of go from there. Right, and then you know the do while loop does the same thing. It just kind of changes it up a little bit and makes it look just a tad bit cleaner. Um, basically, what that does is you do your do, and then you do your curly braces, and then you do everything that you want to happen inside the the while loop above it, and then you do the while loop at the end of the curly brace. And basically, what that does, the difference is is the do it will run all of what you have first and then it will do the 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 loop so basically it runs all that first and then loops it um yeah and then the final one would be the for the for loop in the for loop basically how that works is you have three different parameters you you would do you know you would initialize your variables inside the inside of the parentheses then you do the um the oh gosh i can't remember but basically you have have it you know the main the loop part and then you have at the end of it the incrementation so you have you know whatever variable you're doing you have that be the incrementation at the end of the for loop that also i'd say kind of cleans things up a little bit uh, everything's just a little bit cleaner than the while loop um yeah so i you know this week was pretty interesting um i would say this week was probably the hardest and most confusing for me um, I, I don't, I'm not too sure what I don't exactly get about loops. Um, I think it, my issue is getting more, um, like having the user input multiple values and then comparing said values. Um, and yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of, I think that's my issue right now. Um, you know, like you have like the print statement and then. My, I guess my just my issue is just comparing <laughs> comparing it I guess if that if that makes any sense and reading all of the different values is is it, I guess just what doesn't click right and, and what's just not clicking right now is how like how it reads all of the inputs that are put in each time in the iteration and then it will check each and all of those I don't really understand how it does that and I don't really understand how to do it um, in this week's project, I kind of, I, under, I understood it, um, you know, I, I managed to figure it out, but it is still, it just still doesn't click completely, if that makes any sense. Um, I know how to compare them, uh, kind of, I know, how, like, a, an example for this week's project was, uh, the user, or, you know, the max value, right? I know how to compare the max value and the count, like, that makes sense, but I'd, but, you know just making each note like i just i don't know the part where it checks all the numbers just doesn't really make too much sense for me um i don't know why it just doesn't click but then um you know i'd say all the material was pretty helpful like usual the material is almost always helpful made a lot of sense um yeah i thought it was i, thought it was, I thought it was good um it was a, it was a solid solid week very interesting you know all of its really important loops are incredibly important um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much.